Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a trip on the Nishikigawa Seiryu line. This is a third sector line, basically a private railway line, that runs from Iwakuni in Yamaguchi prefecture up through the mountains to Nishikicho. This line has some beautiful scenery and I've featured it in my videos several times before. Unfortunately today isn't the best weather for appreciating the scenery but I needed to take this journey today and you will see why later. The Nishikigawa Seiryu line is the current name of this line and it's operated now by the Nishikigawa Railway. However, when it was opened as far as Nishikicho back in 1963, it was part of the Japanese National Railways. The name of the line back then was the Gan Nichi Line. It was called this because it was intended to link Iwakuni with Nichihara in Shimane Prefecture. The Gan of Gan Nichi Line means Iwakuni and Nichi means Nichihara. However, before the line could be opened all the way to Nichihara, the construction of the section north of Nishikicho was halted in 1980. It's a complicated subject, but basically it was all to do with the restructuring of the debt-laden Japanese National Railways. Anyway, to cut a long story short, what this all meant was that the section past Nishikicho, as far as Nishihara, was never in the end opened, despite being basically complete in terms of construction. Therefore, even now, there are many bridges, tunnels and so on, which remain in the landscape but have never been used. It's a real shame, although you have to ask how successful the line would actually have been had it completely opened. I think that's very debatable really. Anyway, I'm telling you all this not just to fill in time until we get to Nishikicho, but because it will be relevant once we do get to the end of the line. Please do stick around, hopefully you'll enjoy what's coming up. Anyway, here we are at Nishikicho and the autumn leaves are quite beautiful. I've not come here for the leaves though, let me just say that. What I have come here for is this. Just past Nishikicho station is one of the tunnels I was talking about earlier that were built and never used. This tunnel is called the Kirara Yume Tunnel, which basically translates into English as the Sparkling Dream Tunnel. You'll see why in a short time. This tunnel is normally not open for the public to walk through. However, as part of a festival in the town here, it's been opened to the public for one day only. Which is why I had to come today. A number of years ago, about 600 meters of the former Hirose tunnel were decorated using fluorescent stones like this. These are some of the designs by local children. And you can see up ahead that there is a section where the whole of the tunnel the roof, the walls, the floor, everything has been decorated. If I remember correctly, this part was done by university students. You might think it's crazy that all of this incredible decoration is not open to the public. Well, actually it is, at least during the summer months, but not to walk through. The Nishikigawa Railway operates a service called Tokotoko Train, 
which is basically like a toy train that runs through these tunnels. Put simply, it's basically an electric powered locomotive pulling several open sided carriages. You can see though that there are no tracks in the tunnel and that's because it's not a real train. It's the sort of toy train you might see at an amusement park. It's basically a bus really. Anyway, normally if you want to see this decoration, you need to take the Toko Toko train. It's a fun journey through the tunnels all the way to the final stop, which is an onsen, a hot spring. However, there's something rather special about actually walking through the tunnels and appreciating all of the art. This section is another section of children's designs, I think. Irrespective of the quality of the art, about which I am going to make no comment whatsoever because I'm not an artist, the amount of work that went into creating all of these designs in a dark tunnel using stones is really quite astounding. Obviously the tunnels are dark and the paintings only gleam because they're made of fluorescent stones. So it's actually really difficult to spot other people in the tunnel. I'm glad those people just now had smartphones or something that was giving off light because otherwise I would have walked right into them. One thing that you can see when you walk through the tunnel is that quite a lot of the designs have the names of the creators on them. You have to wonder what they're all doing now. I wonder if they remember their time creating these designs. Anyway, this is the second part of the 360 degree decoration. This one I think is possibly even more impressive than the first part, especially because the floor here is much more gleaming than in the first section. We're coming up to the end of the decorated section of the tunnels now, but there is just one final thing. Actually, I have walked through this tunnel once or twice before, but even so, I've never had the chance to see what's coming up just in front of us. I'm rather looking forward to seeing what it's like. Up ahead, you can just see that there's something projected onto the side of the tunnel wall. Well, that's some projection mapping and apparently it was introduced this year, which is why I've never seen it before. It seems to be playing on a loop, so let's take a look at it. Something makes me wonder whether this projection mapping sequence might actually be copyrighted. So just to be on the safe side, I won't show it all.
I hadn't realized until just now, but looking at this animation, I think that most of the designs are taken from the tunnel walls. In other words, the designs that the children and the university students made. That's rather a nice idea, I think. So, that was the projection mapping. Pretty impressive, I'd say. After the projection mapping, the tunnel stretches on for, I think, about another kilometre, but unfortunately it's not lit. So, the only way forwards is back. Back to the original entrance. I have to say, I'm rather glad that the tunnel is not really so busy, because it makes taking photographs and video much easier. But at the same time, it's a real shame that there aren't more people in the tunnel. This is a really impressive, quite special resource that the railway, and by extension, the town of Nishikicho has. But it seems unfortunate, really, that more people don't recognise this and take time to come and appreciate it more. From a purely selfish point of view, I'm glad that it's not so busy, but at the same time, I do think it's a real shame. Anyway, as I walk back to the tunnel entrance, I will take a little bit more video, so please enjoy the rest of the walk with me. As I said earlier, I've made videos about the Nishikigawa Seiryu line several times in the past. It really is a wonderful little railway. 
if you're ever in Hiroshima or Iwakuni and you get the chance to take a ride on the line, please don't miss that chance. You won't regret it. It really is a line worth traveling on. The Kirara Yume Tunnel, this tunnel, is another thing well worth seeing. It certainly is quite difficult to find a day on which you can walk through the tunnel, but that doesn't mean that you can't see the inside of the tunnel. The Toko Toko train, the toy train that runs through these tunnels, as I spoke about earlier, I think operates most weekends during spring and summer. So it's not that difficult to take that service. The whole Tokotoko train journey from Nishikicho through the tunnels to the onsen, the hot spring, and back takes around 1 hour and 30 minutes. But it's quite a fun journey and, as you can see, it's quite a unique experience. In fact, I'd say it's an entirely unique experience. So if you do get the chance to come to Nishikicho and see the tunnel and ride the Tokotoko train and ride the Nishikigawa railway for that matter, please do take that chance. Anyway, that's about it, I think, for this video. Thank you very much for watching, as ever. I hope you enjoyed this trip to Nishikicho and the walk through the Kirara Yume Tunnel. I certainly did. It's been quite a while since I got to walk through this tunnel and I've really enjoyed it. I'm glad I came today. Anyway, please do leave a comment if you've ever been on the Nishikigawa Railway, you've ever been to Nishikicho, or you've ever been through these tunnels. I'd like to hear from you. I hope to see you again in another video very soon. Thanks again for watching, and for now, goodbye.